A point of order is the point at which order forms. A swirling chaos congeals into shape and organization arises. A solidification of flux. In Robert's Rules of Parliament of 1876, a point of order is a call for clarity and precedent, the protest of a violated protocol. It was the battle cry of Senator Joseph McCarthy in the 1954 Army McCarthy hearings and the name of a film by Emil D'Antonio and Dan Talbot. Everything you are about to see actually happened. Eight hours a day for 36 days, a special Senate subcommittee held televised hearings known as the Army McCarthy hearings. In these hearings, the Army charged that Senator McCarthy and his chief counsel, Roy Cohn, had first tried to keep G. David Shine, a consultant to the McCarthy Committee, out of the Army. And finally, once he was inducted, that they sought special favor for him. McCarthy and Cohn countercharged that the Army attempted blackmail by holding Private Shine as a hostage in order to stop McCarthy's investigation of alleged communism at various Army bases. After D'Antonio's spoken prologue, followed by the animated television I showed before it, the film has no narration. One sees only the hearings. In 1963, this was nothing short of revolutionary. A few short years before, the nature of documentary cinema had been turned upside down by cinema verite and direct cinema, which also eschewed narration, of which more later. But this film was different. It was composed of nothing but old kinescopes, films of television, shadows of ghosts. Where was its point of order? The subject was not G. David Shine, a single army private, but the American democracy. And the hearings became the greatest political spectacle of its history. Now let's hear from a filmed prologue made shortly after the release. The hearings became the greatest political spectacle of American history. Here's more from the film's trailer. Mr. Chairman, a point of order. These words punctuated the greatest political spectacle of our time, the 1954 Army McCarthy hearings. And America watched, watched it in homes, in bars, everywhere. The hearings were debate, combat, theater, a theater of the absurd, of monstrous humor, of forged letters, faked photos, all the ingredients of a great thriller. And here's a re-edit made in 1968 called Charge and Countercharge. It was televised, and 20 million stunned Americans looked on for 36 days at the greatest political spectacle of our history. A new variable had entered our political life, television. The myth of no narration recedes. The spectacle arises. Yeah. 